happens. Let's go ahead and move on to the next uh, news here and we'll dive in. All right. So new FBA shipment notifications for better, better visibility. Uh, this one is about time. Uh, Amazon is introducing enhanced notifications for FBA shipments to improve visibility around partnered carrier pickups and possible delivery disruption. Sellers using full truckload, less than truckload, or intermodal modes will now receive email alerts on any delays, changes in pickup details, or updates to the shipment destination. These notifications aim to help Amazon sellers adjust their inventory planning by providing clear details, including shipment ID, total pallets, cartons, and weights, et cetera. So Jackson, uh, thoughts on this? Uh, I would say about time that they actually yeah. let you know if they're not going to pick it up when they say they're going to. Yeah, no, it's, it's reminding me of like feedback surveys I've filled out for Amazon saying, no, this is not good enough. No, this is not good enough on like, you know, their shipping plan settings and options. And yeah, no, this is good. It's a very good thing. I've seen like the early stages of it where I've gotten notifications that, you know, uh, thing that was delivered a month ago that still hasn't received yet that uh that it's got a new date that it's going to get received because like the albuquerque warehouse in las Lunas got backed up beyond belief at one point in time and and now the same thing's happening in, in california right now but um yeah uh, i really like that you can if whenever it's integrated where you can add an email at the mm -hmm. end and have a specific email that's your contact for that that's going to be helpful and yeah, just anything where they make visibility better for what's going on with your shipment plans. Cause it's great when everything's running smooth, your truckloads get picked up on time, they get delivered quickly and they get received quickly and everything feels nice and smooth. And then all of a sudden you've got three shipments lined up and none of them are getting picked up and they're taking forever to receive when they finally get delivered or they sit at a mm -hmm. carrier inter, inter, you know, mediary point for several yeah. weeks. and all of a sudden you're, you're scrambling to get stuff in through SPD and paying five times as much as you should be for stuff that you already sent in a month ago. So, yeah, yeah. for me, the, the big thing is going to be the pickup notifications because that's in part why I stopped using Amazon partner carrier for LTL mm -hmm. pickups and started using priority one and freight quote, because when I enter a shipment in with them and say it's ready on this date, 95% of the time they're picking up on that date, sometimes the same day. And almost always with Amazon, when I was using them, you'd set the date, they wouldn't show up. They wouldn't show up the next day. Sometimes it'd be two, three, four, five days before yeah. they would pick up and you'd have no idea when they're actually going to show up. So this might actually make me <laughs> quote with them again anyways yeah. <laughs> to see if their pricing is competitive. Yeah, they did actually recently add something that's, you know, it's, I don't think it really functionally changes anything, but it gives the appearance of things being smoother where when you get to the final point where you can, you, you finalize the shipment for an LTL or, or bigger, right? You can select which carrier you want now. And sometimes the price points are different based on the date or the carrier. And so you can at least reference with your warehouse and be like, hey, you use the, the SCAC code or whatever for the, the carrier and be like, are these guys reliable? Is it worth going with the lowest rate with these guys versus paying maybe 50 bucks or hundred bucks more for these ones? And, and you can at least that have that discussion now. Although a lot of the, the codes they give are for carriers that you can't even look up. You don't know who they are. So it's kind of annoying. Yes, it's uh, it's very annoying. I'm going to try to piece that together and maybe make a post about it. But yeah, yeah, it's uh, difficult with. AWD yeah, I'm to sure if we just is. stockpiled like a list and then harassed seller seller support, we could maybe get the answer like after 500 replies Years. or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. Uh, 